five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, this is Erman, and you're tuning in to the Student StarCraft AI Tournament. The first map will be Destination, and it will be a ZVZ, so let the countdown commence. Alright, so the map is Destination, and at the 12 o'clock position, as the Tanzerg, we have ZIA Bot. Just call him Z because I'm not entirely sure on how to pronounce his name. And on the 6 o'clock position of Destination, representing purple, we have Steam Hammer. Alright, so the AI tournament's been going on for quite some time. Uh, some definitely intense games from what I've seen. Uh, I definitely have a lot of respect for the people who take the time to uh, figure out the coding and everything that goes into the works of just having uh, bots play the game. So unlike uh, what a lot of people technically see, you know, uh, humans as the ones that interacting with the interface, uh, people have really uh, broken this game down to a science to where now it's just bots. And who knows, maybe in the near future, uh, Flash will be competing in the finals against a bot. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, so uh, Destination's a very fun map. Uh, it's a 1v1 map, so that means there's only uh, two spawning locations, as you can see. Uh, a lot of shenanigans happen right here. Uh, they have it on both maps. It's right under the ramp that goes to the natural. Uh, if you mine this out, you can... Uh, work your way in and uh, basically completely bypass the natural, go from the back and attack the main. So a lot of people tend to do some uh, really strong uh, play styles with that being said. So now it looks like we've got Zbot going for what it seems to be a nine pool. Um, overlords aren't really uh, moving around which is you know fine. Um, this map's technically not played that often as of uh, recent. Uh, a lot of people like to stick to Fighting Spear, but it looks like uh, Steam Hammer is actually scouting out with his Overlord. Uh, in drone, so uh, nice. Oh, it uh, looks like Zbot actually scouted out with his drone as well, so uh, he, they both have got information. Uh, Steam Hammer is definitely going to get an Overlord into the base, but he's also going to be able to scout out everything else. Uh, with that drone, he, he loses the drone to the uh, six initial spawning wings of the Nine Pool. And uh, now Steam Hammer knows what's coming at him. Uh, he's throwing down an expansion, and he also opted for what it looks like to be a some sort of uh, two, four, five, uh, around like a 12 pool, 11 gas, 11 hatch play style. It's more macro oriented, but at the same time, it seems like Zbot's going to be coming in, completely bypassing the natural. Smart move. Steam Hammer only responding with. Uh, Four links, but pulls a significant amount of drones out, and uh, it seems like uh, Z is going to be able to focus down like, not only a couple links, but he's actually going to be able to snipe out a few drones. Uh, the drones actually providing a great uh, use. He was uh, able to use the drones to focus down the zerglings, which is definitely really good uh, control. But at the same time, he's uh, got less drones on the mineral line, and uh, he's still going to be harvesting from the gas. So uh, two drones. Uh, to uh, be able to deal with this uh, to, uh, instead of using the uh, one ling he's got he's going to chase down that one zergling with two drones kind of funny but uh, seems like Z will be retreating with that one zergling and uh, Steam Hammer is going to be just kind of pushing maybe scouting it out seeing what's up uh, and at the same time after that uh, engagement Z threw down a natural and is going to be expanding so, so we got Z with 11 drones to uh, Steam Hammer's 5 so the resource advantage is definitely in favor of Z, but it looks like uh, he Steam Hammer got a faster layer. Five Zerglings out for Z, so he's not going to be committing too much pressure. One Zergling uh, scouting around, getting a lot of uh, map control, just uh, map information, making sure there's no types of shenanigans. And it looks like a sunken colony is going to be produced at uh, 
Uh, maybe actually um, spores. Not entirely sure. So far, it looks like it'll be sunken because there's no evolution chamber. And uh, he's going to continue with drone production. One sunken colony is getting put down. So uh, he's definitely uh, opting for a more macro-intensive uh, play style now. Uh, Z has 14 drones to uh, Steam Hammer 7 drones. So it uh, seems like they're kind of going on the uh, standstill and uh, playing more uh, macro-oriented now. Uh, and as I say that, it looks like Z is going to be sending his uh, seven Zerglings to uh, Steam Hammer's base. Ooh, able to snipe off one Zergling. So dwindling down Steam Hammer's Zergling count is definitely what's going to win him the game. And, oh, he's going to attack the natural... Steam Hammer's throwing out a couple of Zerglings. Oh, it seems like he's got a significant amount of Zerglings to be able to push back Z-Bot. And uh, Steam Hammer is... Uh, well, he transferred a few drones to his natural to provide some sort of defense, but that caused a lack of mining. So now it seems like he's uh, bringing a drone back. He's going to continue to harvest off the gas. He's got a significant amount of gas, but he really needs the uh, mineral resources as of right now to uh, be able to uh, provide any use. But at the same time, it looks like uh, we got ourselves Steam Hammer's going to be pushing in, bypassing the sunken. Nice move up. Oh, uh, the Z uh, Zerglings were able to get in the way and cause some sort of interference. Uh, and distracting Steam Hammer Zerglings, thus uh, utilizing the Sunken at his natural. So uh, definitely good placement by the Sunken to uh, deal with any type of uh, harassment. Uh, with the Sunken placement, he's got two bridges that uh, Steam Hammer could utilize besides the uh, mineral patch that I have uh, explained earlier. And oh, look at that. He, uh, they actually mined out the mineral patch. Uh, I'm not sure who did that. But uh, it's gone, so he could definitely uh, do some sort of backstab engagement. But it seems like he's going to continue to try to, uh, what it looks like, dance around. But uh, back to uh, the Sunken Colony. Uh, with this map, there's uh, two chokes, and the Sunken is definitely in uh, a good position to be able to snipe off both. Uh, with the proper micro, though, Steam Hammer could uh, go along the edge in the outskirts and uh, make his way in. Uh, we have 27 drones for z -Bot to uh, eight drone for Steam Hammer. Steam Hammer uh, Spire just now uh, almost completing, and uh, Z-Bot's uh, Spire completed all the way and producing Mutas. And Mutas are just now popping, and they're going to be able to kill off Steam Hammer's Overlord, uh, thus reducing the supply. So right now, Z is definitely in a significant advantage right now, but I'm um, kind of curious on how everything's going to pan out in a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> Look at these Zerglings dance. I have no idea what they're doing. But it looks like they're having a good time. Oh! Z's able... Oh! Is able to slip in a Zergling into the main. Uh, Steam Hammer Zerglings are uh, a little distracted. And it seems like they're going to be killed off by Z's Mutas. So... Mutalisks are going to uh, snipe down Steam Hammer Spire and uh, completely disregard that Muta. And at the same time, oh, okay, it looks like Z's actually going to be multitasking with his Mutalisks and kind of just attack all over the place. Um, hmm, look at that. Uh, Z kind of retreating with the two Mutas, uh, but he's bringing them back into the main, and uh, his reinforcing Mutas are going to be inbound as well. So uh, pretty much Z has the advantage over everything when it comes to drones, Mutas, and Zerglings, and uh, some pretty good... Muta uh, Micro right there, able to snipe out Steam Hammer's uh, remaining Mutalisks. And uh, keep in mind, this uh, Micro is done completely without um, Overlords. So uh, typically a lot of people like to uh, queue in one Overlord with a flock of Mutas to create that bunch. But this is what uh, Muta Micro looks like without uh, incorporating that Overlord on the other side of the map. And... Uh, Good Mutalisk Micro, actually able to snipe out pretty much everything in the way. And seems like he he's going to be able to uh, pretty much take this game, killing off the Overlord and the Spire. Going to be focusing down the spawning pool. Uh, there's no drones at the uh, natural of Steam Hammer. Two Zerglings are uh, trying to push uh, Z at his natural, uh, but 
and that's pretty much not going to do anything with that sunken defense. And at the same time, Z is throwing down a third hatchery at his natural, uh, getting plus one carapace, and uh, throwing down a queen's nest. All right, that's a really interesting play style. And taking two advanced positions uh, against uh, Steamhammer. I'm not sure if this is a type of BM build or what, but usually you want to take like a closer base. But um, Steve, uh, Z seems to just kind of go YOLO and just going to take this game completely. And uh, taking out the main of Steamhammer, uh, it's pretty much game over. We're just waiting for uh, Z to be able to completely kill off all the structures of Steamhammer and then uh, go on to the next game. So uh, Z focusing down the uh, Zergling is able to get the kill. And oh man, almost gets it. But uh, retreats, but it seems like the mutas from the main are going to go to the natural and now kill off this hatchery. Oh, uh, Z's actually focused on killing out Overlord. He really wants to make sure that Steam Hammer is dead. But uh, it's only momentarily before uh, this hatchery falls, and we will go into game two as Z Bot takes game one out of this best of three. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, welcome back to game two of the Student StarCraft AI tournament. This is going to take place on Circuit Breakers, Steam Hammer versus Zbot. Oh, so without any further delay, on the bottom right hand corner of Circuit Breakers, we have Zbot, winner of the last match. In the top left hand corner of Circuit Breakers, as the White Zerg, we have Steam Hammer. So, last match we seen Zbot take a significant advantage with a nine pull strategy, which, uh, Last map, to those who haven't uh, watched it, it was on Destination, which is a 1v1 map. This map is a four-player map. That means there's four different spawning locations that these players could spawn on, uh, thus causing a huge um, map, which makes uh, the rush distance uh, much more significant. So causing early aggressive strategies to be just a little bit more... Uh, they're still strong but not as potent as they should be. So, starting out, uh, looks like Zbot is just, uh, you know, focusing on his mining game, all good. Uh, oh, no, here we go. Uh, seems like he's going to go for a nine pool once again and uh, a scouting drone to make sure everything's good because he's not utilizing his overlords. His overlords seem to uh, instantly go on the spawning pool, which is not nothing wrong. Uh, the drone is going to be sufficient. Losing a little bit of uh, mining time with that ro uh, one drone. And then ZVZ, uh, those minor things could play a huge part. But um, it looks like uh, with the aggression that he's going to be able to put on Steam Hammer, he's going to be able to possibly do a significant amount of damage regardless. So, I mean, if he's able to do enough damage, uh, the early pool will actually be beneficial. And uh, with the uh, early drone scout... He's going to be able to find the position, and uh, once these uh, Zerglings pop, they're going to be able to go directly to the base, uh, causing less uh, confusion. Because uh, if you don't know where your player is at, you have a three-fourths of a uh, chance, so 75% chance. Uh, yeah, I think my math's off. Uh, you have one-third of a chance to scout out the enemy base. Yeah, there we go thinking the wrong math sorry about that 
Just got off work. Long day. Anyways, uh, so Steamhammer, uh, scouting off the Zovlor, throws down a uh, natural hatchery uh, as long as going with a 10 pool uh, 9 gas after Overlord. So uh, the economic advantage is definitely in favor of Steamhammer, but at the same time, Z uh, spawning pool finishes earlier, and Zerglings are inbound with the scout. Now his Zerglings are already halfway across the map uh, going towards the location of Steambot. Steambot has zero uh, Zerglings as of yet, right now, just spawning uh, two, four Zerglings uh, trying to fight off ten Zerglings of uh, Zbot. Of course, Zbot's Zerglings aren't completely at Steam Hammer's base yet. Uh, it actually seems like a couple Zerglings, uh, the initial Zerglings, ran backwards. But it seems like now he's going to be uh, going for uh, the push of Steam Hammer or Steam Hammer Zerglings meeting Zbot's Hammer. Uh, <laughs> correction, Zbot Zerglings. Uh, just outside of his ramp, and uh, oh, looks like a little engagement going down, and ah, uh, uh, Steam Hammers uh, loses all the Zerglings, and uh, but produces a few more, and is going to be able to fight off. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. Uh, Zbot producing a little bit more Zerglings than uh, Steam Hammer expected, and now uh, it seems like the six Zerglings of Zbot are going to be starting to focus down the natural hatchery of Steam Hammer, and at the same time as he's throwing down his uh, natural hatchery. And, oh, he's going to uh, change it up a bit, and is going to be building a Hydralisk Den. Oh, 103 health left on the uh, natural hatchery of Steam, and losing the rest of his Zergling. Seems like this hatchery is going to go down. Possibly. Oh, but no, Steam Hammer uh, makes uh, additional Zerglings, is able to uh, defend it with 34 HP left. That is so clutch, Steam. Jesus. All right, and uh, at the same time, he gets his lair and throws up a spire. The Zerglings are going to be going across the map to scout out uh, any type of shenanigans. Uh, Zbot as well scouting uh, with his Zerglings to make sure there's no types of uh, shenanigans going down as well. Seems like we got the same play style coming out from Z with the. Excuse me, coming out with the uh, two sunken colonies that is natural to provide any type of uh, ground defense. Uh, denying uh, Steam Hammer's Zerglings. Uh, nine Zerglings produced by Steam Hammer. Losing one, of course, because if he had uh, all of them, there would be ten. Um, and uh, the Hydralisk Den is done. Uh, no Hydras as of yet being produced. It seems like he's more focusing on uh, just drone production but um, build order advantage definitely goes into Steam Hammer's favor regardless of uh, taking a little bit of damage earlier and losing a lot of Zerglings uh, kind of a standstill Steam Hammer just poking in with a few Zerglings just scouting things out uh, Hydralisks are now in production for Z and a uh, few have already popped out but uh, Mutalisks in a big flock definitely do significant amount of damage to Hydralisks. And uh, with the Zergling buffer, just creates a, a better um, type of uh, assistance. And it seems like uh, some really interesting uh, Muta Micro. Oops, sorry, slip of the hand right there. Uh, some interesting Muta Micro uh, killing off the Overlord. That was just kind of uh, fun to watch regardless. And uh, the uh, Zerg's hatchery at the natural is gaining health. Uh, we went from 34, now he's back at 76. Doesn't uh, rec uh, regenerate that off or that quick, but it seems like uh, there's going to be an engagement going down. Uh, some really interesting Muta Micro. I really like this. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how this uh, he was able to incorporate this, but uh, just so goes to show with this uh, Muta Micro, he was able to snipe off all these Hydralisks without even taking any uh, significant damage on the Mutas, and it seems like uh, the Mutas are going to start focusing down the Hydralisks and drones, and uh, there's just a huge group of overlords here at the uh, kind of natural going to the main, but it seems like uh, Steam Hammer's uh, main focus right now is uh, taking out everything at the natural. Uh, pulls back a little bit to uh, pull out the Hydralisk, kills it off, and now he's going to go right back to uh, killing off this natural. Uh, man, I could watch this Muta Micro all day. It's beautiful. Uh, all right, able to snipe off pretty much uh, as these uh, Hydralisks are spawning in one by one. They're just going to be constantly killed off, and at the same time, Steam Hammer is just going to continuously rally Mutas into this natural and pretty much take the game. So 
So as of right now, the only thing that Z would be able to possibly do is uh, defend up by throwing an Eva, uh, evolution chamber down and throwing up spore colonies and playing a very turtle style. But at the same time, losing this natural, he's going to be galaxies behind Steam Hammer's uh, economic advantage. So uh, the economy and uh, pretty much everything is going into uh, Steam Hammer's favor right now. And uh, there's really nothing to really contest his new army. And uh, pretty much seems like he's uh, stopped focusing on the natural and is going to be uh, opting to uh, kill off everything in the main. Uh, killing off the uh, drones harvesting gas first and uh, just killing off all the things uh, in the main. Some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, Mutalus Micro though. That's, I, that's definitely something I, I wish I could incorporate into my gameplay. <laughs> But um, seems like he's going to be focusing down the spawning pool. At the same time, uh, he has just uh, been building drones behind this. Uh, he did not opt for any type of Mutalisk upgrades, but uh, we've got ourselves 27 drones. Uh, one just very informative Zergling by Zebot, just scouting out literally the entire map, making sure there's nothing crazy. But uh, little does he know, back at home, uh, everything is not going well. <laughs> but, uh, alright, seems like, uh, I like, uh, how Steam Hammer, uh, implemented his, uh, Muta Lisk Micro. It's, as you can tell, very, uh, very interesting, I guess, to say the least. I wish I knew more about just how, uh, the coding goes behind this, but it seems like, uh, Z throws down the GG and Steam Hammer takes Game 2 on Circuit Breaker. Stay tuned as we go into game three. Five, four, three, two, one. And welcome back to game three of the Student StarCraft AI Tournament Z-Bot vs. Steam Hammer. We are going to finish up this series on Fighting Spirit. Alright, without any... Uh, Oh, look at that. Nice uh, little uh, response right there by Zubot, uh, kind of uh, taunting his opponent. Uh, really interesting. I, I like that. That's cute. Anyways, uh, so without any uh, further ado delay, on the top right-hand corner as the Purple Zerg, winner of the last match, we have Steam Hammer. And on the bottom right-hand corner, winner of the first match, making this a uh, best of three, is Zbot as the Teal Zerg. So um, I'm not entirely sure if they can like input different strategies uh, to the bots or if it's just kind of like they have one set build per uh, race. But it looks like uh, from the past two games, they've pretty much done the same exact build, which isn't bad, uh, but definitely goes to show... Um, how maps play a difference and uh, as opposed to circuit breakers on the last map let's take a look at this and um, once again this is a four player map to any of those who don't know and uh, the rush distance from natural to natural is a lot shorter than circuit breakers circuit breakers is a relatively larger map but um so, which is going to cause uh, Zbot's uh, nine pool to uh, provide way more of use. At the same time, it seems like he went for a nine pool, eight gas, one uh, drone scout. But uh, with uh, Steam Hammer's luck, 
he was able to uh, get the first scout off, or not first scout off, but uh, with the Overlord, he's able to scout him off uh, right off the bat. Not as quick as Zbot, but still uh, definitely useful. Uh, interesting, uh, Steam Hammer is sending his uh, drone. Not entirely sure where this guy is going. This is not what happened last game. But um, we'll go from there. Uh, two overlords. It seems like he uh, made a little too many overlords, but I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning behind that was. But at least he won't be getting supply blocked anytime soon. Uh, natural Hatchery is going down for Steam Hammer as the six initial spawning leagues come out for Z-Bot. And Steam Hammer, oh, able to get out his drone, and it's going to be a little of a merry-go-round uh, with the. Uh, drone as he's going to just kind of circle around this base to make sure he gets all the scouting information possible. All the Zerglings for Zbot are focused on this drone. If this drone stops, he's pretty much dead. But at the same time, it looks like Z is going to be going to block his uh, choke where it seems like Steam Hammer is going to be opting to go, losing the drone. And there it goes down. Uh, we've got 10 Zerglings to uh, Steam Bot's 4. So right now, if uh, Z went to put on some sort of aggression, he could definitely benefit out of it. But it seems like Steam Hammer is going to be actually be, uh, going to try to put on some sort of aggression with the four lings. Little does he know, he's definitely outnumbered. But uh, we've got eight drones with uh, continuously uh, uh, continuous Zergling production coming out for Z. Uh, but Z pulled off drones off the gas and uh, is going to be going for a, a Zergling or a Speedling push. Uh, Having, I guess this drone's here just to give uh, some sort of uh, morale support to these Zerglings. Because right now these Zerglings are just dancing. <laughs> Same with uh, Steam Hammer Zerglings. Just, he doesn't have vision because you have to go up the ramp to see it. But uh, let's let's see what he sees. Okay, no, he does see that one Zergling. So he, he's just kind of playing like, oh, maybe I can pull him out, maybe I can't. Who knows? Uh, but uh, we've got eight Zerglings for Steam Hammer to 18 Zerglings by Z. As soon as this... Uh, oh, no, speed is finished. So uh, Z should be putting on some sort of aggression. Actually, he's going to be pulling back for some reason. It uh, goes back to the hatchel, or hat hatchel, the main hatchery. There we go. English. Hard language. And uh, it seems like he's going to be trying to take the natural. But at the same time, oh, some good micro, but oh, oh, is he going to lose? No, he doesn't lose the drone, but... Uh, gets the drone back into the main and uh, is going to send out a second drone. Loses that second drone to Seam Hammer Zerglings. Uh, Zbot's Zerglings are kind of just uh, patrolling in the main, not really doing any type of aggression, just kind of holding back and um, should really put on some sort of aggression right now because he could definitely uh, do some uh, significant amount of damage. Uh, he is uh, stacking some minerals. He is really committed on trying to take this natural hatchery, but it's pretty much going to be the uh, nail in his coffin if he doesn't do anything about it. Uh, slowly, he's now only on four uh, drones compared to a Steam Hammer's 14, and uh, Steam Hammer has now got 18 Zerglings uh, to uh, Zbot's 25. So Zbot still continuously producing Zerglings, but uh, not utilizing his uh, Zergling advantage to this. Uh, sending uh, one Zergling. Okay, seems like uh, Z is finally now going to start to put on some sort of aggression. A huge wave of Zerglings uh, funneling out of the natural choke and is going to be going inbound to Steam Hammer's natural. Steam Hammer has no type of defense as of yet. He's got Mutalisks halfway done. And uh, he's going to be able to provide some sort of air support. But as of right now with the uh, Speedlings Z-Bot, he's going to be able to focus down all the Zerglings that Steamer, uh, Steam Hammer has as he's retreating back to his natural. Uh, Mutals are just now popping out. Seems like Steam Hammer is going to put on the aggression now with the uh, remaining Zerglings he's got, but still just severely outnumbered by Z-Bot Zerglings. He's going to uh, pull out some drones to provide a little bit of support. But it seems like Z-Bot is just going to be able to completely focus down the drones. All the drones from the main are going to be pulled to the natural to help defend as the mutalists come back as well. Uh, mutalists are going to be able to uh, do a significant amount of uh, damage to all these Zerglings, but at the same time, Steam, bots, uh, Steam Hammer is going to lose completely all of his drones, and uh, not a good decision on uh, Steam Hammer because he's pretty much out of this uh, economic game and basically relying on his six mutalists to provide all the damage that's going to uh, occur. Uh, but then again, Zbot has 
no anti-air defense, no uh, spore colonies, and hasn't even started to layer as he is also taking his natural in the middle of the map. Uh, the Mutalisks are going to be able to focus down the drones, and this was looking like it's pretty much GG uh, in Steam Hammer. It was going to be able to take Game 3 of this Best of 3 series of the Student StarCraft AI Tournament. Uh, once again, I could, I swear, I, no joke, I could watch this Muta Micro all day. It is beautiful. It's definitely some sort of art. But at the same time, Steam Hammer is going to be focusing down the spawning pool so Z can't produce any more Zerglings. Uh, the Zerglings are, looks like they're try, uh, the AI is trying to engage the Mutalisks with the Zerglings. And that's never going to happen in a million years. Uh, the Zerglings are going to be taken down by the Mutalisks of Steam Hammer. And it seems like he's going to focus down uh, not only the Hatcher, but the Overlord as well. And uh, it's pretty much going to be GG when either Zbot uh, throws down the GG or if uh, Steam Hammer just completely kills off everything that uh, Zbot has. Uh, one Zergling, uh, the scouting Zergling of Zbot is uh, going to go to the natural. Notice there's nothing there. And retreat. So, um, Steam Hammer just uh, slowly killing off the main hatchery and uh, extractor in a very uh, slow fashion, <laughs> making sure uh, everything takes uh, equal damage. You don't want to kill anything off too fast now, am I right? So, uh, but definitely looks like uh, this game went from zero economy to uh, pretty much uh, a muta battle, and uh, Steam Hammer won because there's no mutas to fight against. So... Sorry about the uh, in-game chat. Uh, and it looks like uh, the main hatchery is just now going to go down. And uh, once again, the only remaining thing is the uh, middle base uh, hatchery. Uh, three drones are in production. And uh, these mutalisks are just now scouting around the map to uh, find what structure is remaining to uh, kill off. And while uh, we wait for a steam hammer to find out this uh, ninja hatchery, uh, we're just going to pretty much uh, watch these mutalisks fly around. At the same time, though, uh, Valor attempt by Zbot to try to get back into the game by uh, producing uh, some drones off that middle base hatchery. And it's going to act like uh, this is pretty much the beginning of the game. Little does uh, Zbot's, uh, uh, I guess, main base now know that it's already nine minutes into the game. <laughs> All right, so um, interesting scouting pattern uh, by Steam Hammer. So uh, it definitely looks like they are taking to a factor uh, of the maps. Right now, because uh, Steam Hammer uh, scouted out the uh, next base with his mutalisks, but it seems like he's going to be tr uh, patrolling uh, just this really uh, random spot and uh, not really going to be doing much as of right now. Um, no drones as of yet for Steam Hammer. And uh, his mules are just slowly but surely, it seems like he's working his way back to the middle of the map. This finds the uh, scouting Zergling. It looks like he's going to uh, focus fire, and there it goes. Uh, kills off the last remaining Zergling of Z. And uh, Z is just uh, going to... Um, he's got 400 minerals. He could definitely uh, utilize these larvae to uh, produce drones or some sort of spawning pool or hatchery. But uh, it seems like Steam Hammer is going to continuously scout out with his Mulisks, uh, just looking for that final base or extractor or whatever is creating uh, Z-Bot to stay alive. Little does he know, he just passed the hatchery in the main, or the middle, uh, excuse me. And, uh, yep, Steam Hammer is just going to slowly, but surely, find this base. Scouts out the uh, top left hand corner uh, spawning position, going to the main, to the natural, possibly back to the main, but uh, still uh, nothing as of yet. Uh, smart play on uh, Zbot's uh, behalf. Uh, drones now being produced in the uh, 
like I said, now n main base of Z. And, uh... Oh, there we go. Z's throwing down a spawning pole, but at the same time, Steam Hammer finally gets the scout off with the Mutalisks and is able to uh, focus down all the remaining drones of Z and is just going to completely kill off the rest of his base. This is just beautiful. Alright, so, uh... Steam focusing down the spawning pool of Z and uh, now going to go for the uh, creep colony and then the hatchery. And I, uh, I apologize, Z, if uh, I'm not pronouncing the name right, but uh, I mean, my next guess would be Zaya, but I'm not entirely sure, so um, I don't know, maybe next time I'll get it right, but as of right now, it seems like uh, these mutalists are going to be able to focus down the hatchery, and it's going to be game because I do not see any other uh, map presence of Z. And the hatchery is going to finally go down, and Steam Hammer is going to be able to take Game 3, uh, winning this best of three series of the Student StarCraft AI Tournament. So thank you everyone for tuning in, and we definitely appreciate your support. Uh, you could definitely find more information on the link uh, found below. And to all those who tuned in, thank you very much, and take care.